How can we study more in less time? Here are three time management tips that worked for me and hopefully for you. Let's get started. During uni, I didn't have a revision timetable or some sort of time blocking schedule, but what I did have was to-do lists. On my to-do list, I'd always write down one thing I know I want to get done and I will get done. And then I'd write two more things that are also important but not crucial. But as long as I got that one top priority thing done during my day, then I'd be super, super happy. Usually though, I end up doing more than what's listed on my to-do list and that's just because I get into the flow of working. So give that a try, make a to-do list and write down one thing you know you want to get done each and every single day and that way you should be progressing with your work. Number two, the Pomodoro technique. The original method is you work 25 minutes and then take a five minute break and then rinse and repeat. But what worked for me during uni, especially in final year was take work for five minutes and then take either a 10 or 15 minute break. The goal within each Pomodoro session is to complete what you set out to do on your to-do list. But usually for me, I mean, I always overestimate how long a task will take because you know, engineering is just hard. <laughs> in those cases, which is pretty much much all the time I just tell myself okay in this first Pomodoro session this is part one and then next Pomodoro session is part two let me just focus on understanding this concept and see if I can apply it in the next Pomodoro session also during the term every day I'd always do like two to six Pomodoro sessions depending how I'm feeling the same applies for holidays two to six Pomodoro sessions per day but I'm willing to do more or less depending how far behind I am with my work or if I really wanted to get a high a grade for this one module. All right, by the way, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ah, save, save, save. The last and most important tip, free up your attention. Trust me, no matter what time management skills or tips you apply or whatever time management video you watch, right? None of that matters if you're constantly being distracted and that you're unable to focus. Because even from experience, even if I had the to-do list, even if I had the Pomodoro session, I'd still be able to procrastinate. The way I overcame that problem was I needed to free up my attention. For example, in uni and even to this day, I'd go on YouTube and endlessly scroll and watch videos and hours and hours would pass by without me realizing it. Those precious academic goals or life goals that you have are so so important so protect them and put more attention towards them once you got the hang of where your attention lies right executing that to-do list will be easier executing those pomodoro sessions will be clearer and honestly overall like productivity you know all that will take care of itself because you'll be a more focused person. In last week's video, I talked about tips on how to deal with procrastination. From there, I said the most important tip was to create a routine. Now that you've created your time block routine, that's where you'll be executing those Pomodoro sessions if you decide that the Pomodoro session is effective for you. Putting the information from this video and last week's video, hopefully that should help you manage your time better and procrastinate less and to focus on what's, the, what's most important to you. Before I end, I just want to say I hope you have a merry, merry Christmas. Well, when I post this video, it, Christmas would have already gone, but honestly, I hope you're able to spend time with the people you care about and, you know, just chill out with the work during this time. And yeah, man, I, I, I hope you're good, man. I hope you're good. I hope like this weekend wasn't a waste of time. Hope you had some solid food. I know I will. <laughs> but yeah, man, yeah, man. I just want to say Merry Christmas and I hope you and your family are all safe. Take care. Safe.